<laughs> I'm here with Joe in the TechNet Edge Lounge at TechEd EMEA. And uh, Joe, could you tell me a little bit about what you do at Microsoft? Uh, Sure, David. Thanks. Thanks for having me today. I'm the uh, director of product management for our forefront uh, security solutions as part of our identity and security business group at okay. Microsoft. Cool. Well, I know that forefront has a number of announcements today. Uh, what what are those? Well, the, the the chief announcement today is really tied very closely to the Exchange 2010 announcement. So we've announced forefront protection 2010 for Exchange Server. Uh, which is now available for Exchange Server. It runs, the product runs on, on your Exchange Edge Server, Hub Transport, or, or Mailbox Servers to provide anti-malware protection. And new and exciting in this release is some powerful anti-spam technology. I know one of the sessions you have today is uh, on business-ready security. And That's right. So that, I think, to most people, doesn't have a lot of meaning. So could you explain what, what that is? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really interesting. As, and Microsoft is really in a unique position to talk about business-ready security. Um, companies today have, and, and IT pros are faced with a lot of challenges, right? They're trying to grow the business, um, and yet there's a, a lot of opportunities and challenges which are complicated by a growing threat landscape and uh, really the insufficient point solutions around security that have just proliferated throughout organizations. So Microsoft is taking really a completely different view of security. Instead of security being a blocker uh, and, and trying to figure out how to keep users from, from being able to do certain things, instead we're trying to position security uh, to be an enabler in our organizations. And one of the things that, that makes our business-ready security strategy very unique is the fact that um, we view security as a combination of uh, protection, access, and management technologies all built around uh, a core of identity. And there are very few companies that have that ability to be able to do that. Um, so in that way, we're able to deliver solutions that allow companies to define specific uh, access rights for users within an organization. Uh, automatic provisioning for users as they move from one group to another. Uh, the ability to have policies and rules around uh, email and, and messaging security um, that might include uh, automatically RMS encrypting uh, documents as they go out of an organization because of certain keywords and policies uh, that are in place. So a business ready security is, is really our all up view and it's really the strategic, strategic goals for us in terms of how we deliver each of the different products that we're building going forward. Um, as we talked about a few minutes ago, Forefront Protection for Exchange is this new release. It's really the beginning of this wave of products that we're introducing this year that really are part of this uh, business ready security um, solution set. I know, I know that uh, today everybody's worried about costs and reducing costs and there's the whole new efficiency theme. How, how are some specific ways that the business ready security and the forefront products tie into that? Well, I tell you, there's, there's a couple of ways. I mentioned anti-spam as being a big investment area that we've made in, in our products. Today, customers uh, can deploy our forefront protection for exchange server on your in internal exchange servers. They can also deploy forefront online protection for exchange in the cloud. Their products work together. In this new release, we actually integrate some of the uh, user interface capabilities of both products into a single interface with the Forefront Protection for Exchange Administrator. So an administrator can go to one place to define spam policies and have it impact and affect uh, settings that take place both in the cloud and on-premise. Um, the user interface in the product has been completely redesigned and it looks very much and feels very much like System Center. A lot of these same people, same IT pros that are utilizing System Center to manage your exchange servers um, and other critical servers in the data center and in the enterprise now have a very familiar interface in order to manage forefront protection for exchange. The spam technologies, we've, we found customers as they've deployed forefront protection for exchange are seeing a decrease um, of, of uh, spam traffic significantly. They're cutting, down, cutting, cutting up to 90% of the spam traffic that they were getting prior to installing this product. Uh, when they were using other point solutions out there. So there's big savings in terms of deploying the product, both from the efficacy of how well it's, it's blocking spam and, and malware, but also in terms of how, how easy it is to use and deploy. Uh, it, it supports uh, Hyper-V environments as well. More and more customers are deploying Exchange in a Hyper-V setting, virtualization. Uh, we include PowerShell support. So administrators that are, that are building um, our PowerShell scripts to support Exchange and, and, and Windows Server 2008 R2 and, and, and they want to be able to take and build in PowerShell commands for Forefront for Exchange and that 
in that same set of scripts, they now have that ability to do that. So do you know of any specific companies that have had these kind of cost savings? Because it's one thing to just kind of say yeah. it pie in the sky, right? But, That's right? but another, if there's actually some real examples of people who have who've seen some benefits. Yeah, I, I didn't really pull those numbers out of the sky. We've had some, some experiences with customers as, as they've deployed Exchange 2010 together with Forefront through our TAP processes and RDP uh, programs as well. Um, uh, here in Europe, NEC Philips uh, is a customer that's uh, really had remarkable cost savings in terms of how they've deployed our products. Um, they saved about 5,000 pounds a year, another 1,000 pounds per year in recurring costs, just in licensing cost uh, for, their, for their organization. Plus, they, they are one of those cases where they saw an immediate reduction of 90% of, of the spam traffic that they were getting previously, and there are big savings associated with that. The Swiss Council for Accident Prevention is another example of, uh, of a customer that saw uh, close to 90% reduction in spam. And there are many other cases of of customers being able to do this. A key thing about Forefront Protection for Exchange Server, too, that people won't realize, because it does have 2010 in, in the product name, is it actually supports both Exchange 2010 and Exchange 2007. And so another one of our customers, the Savola Group, um, out of Saudi Arabia, actually, ha has installed Forefront Protection for Exchange on their Exchange 2007 servers and, and seen uh, a significant amount of savings as well. So what other kinds of things are coming up for forefront and people being able to save money. Well, David, this is, this is, as I mentioned, this is the beginning of a wave of releases for us. And um, we have a solution that we call the Forefront Protection Suite, which includes protection for the client, for the, for the service, and for Edge. Um, by the end of the year, we'll be releasing Forefront Threat Management Gateway, which provides some new capability for web protection, um, both for malware and for categorizing um, different types of, of mail traffic that you may want to prevent from coming into the organization. And we're introducing our Unified Access Gateway, or UAG. Um, and that forefront release really provides a great benefit cu for customers that are deploying Windows 7 with uh, direct access capability uh, and provides secure access to uh, many of the applications that uh, customers are running in their environments. So it's really exciting. Those are the next two releases that are coming right on the heels of our forefront protection for Exchange release, uh, which is available today. And, uh, and there's much more coming next year. Great. All right, well, thanks for your time, Joe. Sure, David. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah.